YouTubers, this is EuroAMS and today I'm going to test the correct temperature for soldering. In the beginning I want to say there is not only one correct temperature but it strongly depends on your soldering iron, uh, soldering tip you use, the component you are going to solder. Yeah, so you have to test it. Uh, that's not my hand, that's my daughter's hand. <laughs> Before experimenting I have to check how precise is my soldering iron? So the first test is whether 250 is really 250 for this soldering tip. It's a little lower than it should be for 300. It's also a little lower and for 350. Yeah, the difference is more significant. And now I'm going to move to the main experiment. I'm going to start at uh, 250 Celsius and I'm using this big uh, chisel soldering tip. And let's say I'm soldering the big component. Yeah, so I'm testing that on this uh, copper plate. And as you can see, and as you can see, the temperature 250 it's not enough. So I'm increasing temperature to 270. And still nothing. Even new solder wire is not melting. Okay, temperature 270 also doesn't work. I'm increasing temperature now to 300. And it starts melting a little, but it's still very slow. But we have at least a starting point, yeah. Now I'm increasing temperature to 310. Okay, and let's see what's going to happen now. Yes, and it's even better than before. It's not super fast, of course, but it's melting. So I can say the minimum temperature for this experiment is uh, about 300. When I solder something I usually set temperature somewhere between 300 and 350 depends on the components solder and tip yeah, as I mentioned. Too high temperature is not good for your soldering iron and for your soldering tips of course it's also not good for components you solder yeah so so I always try to adjust the right temperature it requires a little experimenting but I think it's worth it because you can understand better how your soldering iron behaves and such okay that's it for today and I hope it was useful for you and see you next time